And up there is a creature perfectly adapted to living at night. It's a Patrick Moore. <laughs> so specialised that it has almost lost the use of its neglected eye. Cover up the good one, and he's helpless. <laughs> Look what you've done now! They'll invade us as soon as... Look at us! <laughs> he didn't mean it! He didn't mean it! Don't listen to him! They're going to invade us! It's the end of the world! I'm a teapot! I'm a teapot! I don't like this programme! <laughs> I've just had an enormous... Oh, anywhere, that's them again! <laughs> George Bank today claimed the discovery of a new comet. <laughs> this is extremely exciting. You should be able to see the comet, which appears as a bright red light in the northern sky, if you look out of your window just about now. Find the sun, and then uh, up a bit, down a bit, across a bit, left a bit, right a bit, Oh, sorry. And now, over to Patrick Moore for his views. Well, it seems to me that the whole suggestion is absolutely ludic. <laughs> sorry to cut you off like that, but we're having reports from Salisbury Plain that strange objects are dropping out of the sky. Quick, we must get away from this terrible place. Then you go more, Miller, time. Bellamy, Bellamy, no time, no time. No. Keep up, you lot. More, you go first. You can see in the dark. <laughs> Look out, Patrick. Stop, stop, stop. Look out. Please Be stop. Careful. Don't trust those cameras. It's a trap. Let us consider Jupiter, the largest of the <laughs> <laughs>